when someone says injustice, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? For some, they will think about racial injustices. For others, they may think about gender inequalities, which in all are important subjects. However, one topic I see many people overlook is the inequalities that people with disabilities face. Specifically, the challenges that they face within their workplace regarding their pay. Right now, people who have disabilities are being shortchanged by large companies when it comes to their wages. For example, on average, a full-time year-round worker who has a disability earns about 87 cents for every dollar a person without a disability in nearly every occupation according to the United States Census Bureau. This is downright unacceptable. But how did this all begin? Dating back to 1938, Congress passed the Fair Labor Standards Act, which established that no worker was obligated to work overtime without compensation. And it also set the standards when it comes to minimum wage pay. The law was a step in the right direction for fair and just treatment when it comes to the well-being of employees. However, companies have been taking advantage of this law to cheat their disabled workers. Even though the Fair Labor Standards Act set the standards when it comes to minimum wage pay, it also set some standards when it comes to sub-minimum wage pay. Meaning that employees that either fit as vocational education student worker, a full-time student who works in retail or service establishments, agriculture or institutions of higher education, or those who are impaired physically or mentally by disability can be paid sub-minimum wage. This allows companies to manipulate the system and pay their disabled workers below minimum wage. For example, some companies will pay these workers less than a dollar per hour, and it's perfectly legal. Now let that sink in, less than a dollar per hour. How is this okay? How is this just? As a society, we always preach equality and fair treatment for everybody. However, we are not acting in such a manner by having a law such as this still within our system. This law is effectively shortchanging and cheating these people. We can see it in the numbers. When it comes to earnings in general, people with disabilities, whether it be physical or mental, earn about $40,000 per year while in contrast, people without disabilities earn about $7,000 more, according to disabilitystatistics.org. Now, you may be thinking, this is a moot point, what can I do? But, there is something that you can do to make a difference. Right now in the Senate, there is a bill that is currently being proposed that could fix this corporate scam. This bill is called Raise the Wage Act. This bill will add protection to millions of disabled Americans, essentially prohibiting sub-minimum wages. However, based on the current Senate, this bill will not be passed. So that's where you come in. It is imperative to let your voice be heard if you believe that disabled Americans should be afforded the protection against sub-minimum wages. You can do this by contacting your local congressman join a coalition, talk about it on social media, join a forum. All these things can help get this bill passed. And if you want more information and you want your voice to be heard, go to HTPS www.nasca.org. You can learn how to get your voice heard and make a difference.